Sean is coming to the UK and I'm going to be hosting his concert in Leicester on the 19th of June. That's this Sunday. If you are listening to this podcast relatively close to when it comes out, 19th of June, 2022, uh, we'll all be at the De Montfort Hall for an amazing singer. Uh, so it's only right that I chat to Mr. John Sefarish, Mr. Love Songs himself about his tour. Uh, it's called Love in Concert, which all sounds very nice indeed. Perfect. If you're in the middle of a row with your other half, if you're not feeling the love right now, then I'm telling you, this is the man to get the love going back into your life. Uh, so whilst uh, whilst he's about to make his way over to the UK, I caught up with him. We had a bit of a chat, a bit of a catch up. We spoke not only about uh, the love that he's got for Desioki and all the stuff that we did back in the day, uh, but also about some of the great singers that we've recently lost in the last year or so and some close people in his family as well this is a great chat with a wonderful loving sweet man and if you haven't bought your tickets yet to go and see him live get down there right now go and go to de montfort hall's website and you can buy your tickets for the 19th of june to see sean live here he is chatting to us on the tommy sandu podcast Ta-da! Dos tose, piarquia, dushamano se, badalakia, jonekia, hamnekia. Oh, what's the next bit? How's the next bit go? <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Can, can you finish it off for me, please? Sean and say! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, man. How are you, Sean? You all right? I'm good, W. You're looking better than... Uh... When we met last, like oh, what wow. four years ago, I got leaner and uh, you know really getting into fitness and how. Huh? Oh, coming from you, see, because listen, what you don't realize is let, let's just, let's reveal the magic of podcasting because we're filming this as well. As you got up just to adjust the lighting, just now I was watching you and I thought, wow, look at his triceps and his biceps. He's looking good. <laughs> so I'm checking you out. You're checking me out. It's good. It's mutual. It's mutual love. This here. is not going the right way. It's nope. going a little or, crazy. Or maybe it's going the great way. It, it depends. It depends. Maybe, it depends. yeah. Maybe we're going to discover something absolutely <laughs> new. <laughs> but, but come on. You are actually, let, let me, because you touched upon that. You are looking seriously trimmer than ever. You training really hard. Are you training? Are you on it with the diet and the training and the all of that? Uh, no, not really. Actually, I've been in Jodhpur shooting in like 50 degrees heat. We're doing this uh, Swamvar Mikkadi Boti. And I think that, you know, the food or something hasn't worked out for me. So I've really lost a lot of, so, not a so, lot of it, but uh, yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've, I've, I've gained a few shades and I've lost, lost a few pounds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to say 50 shades of brown. No, it's not. <laughs> it's like a, a little remix. 50 shades of brown makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But okay. So really you're not, you're not trim. You're just starving. So someone get, well, the good thing is yeah. you're coming yeah. here. You're coming to England, which is the home of comfort food. Cause the weather's, Exactly. Rubbish. Yeah, yeah. So you're when you when so, you your concert on Sunday. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be hosting that uh, on the nineteenth. Oh, brilliant! Of June in Leicester. That's why. That's why we're doing this. But look at oh, brilliant! Like you didn't know. Like, oh, you're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna so, be there. But, but I have to tell you, my kids are crazy. Uh, you know, they just they watch your Desi case and especially the one you did with Reman. You know, they want to play to all their friends and you. You I, were like you were on fire that day, man. And like, AR, really AR Ramon got him. Is, is was the worst desioki I ever had. If you watch the video closely, you'll see my my brow starts to sweat because I'm dying. I'm, he's not giving me anything. So you did desioki. But, if anybody doesn't know, but, you did it. But yeah, Malaya but did when it. you put it through, when you put it together, you know that take one, take two, take oh. three, and then finally you say, "What are you going to do?" You say, "I'm going to go to my hotel room," and you're like, "Yeah, go to your hotel." <laughs> you made a song on that. So anyway, you were really entertaining. Me, I mean, you know, yeah, sometimes, but, sometimes if your guest is not giving you enough, you know, it gets the best out of you. I think it gets. Hey, the show's just, got the show's got to go on, and you know all about that. So, uh, so you know, you yeah, think, yeah. Well, I've got to make something of it. Oh, that's lovely to hear, and thank you. And it's been a few years since we've seen you, and since the since those days since we had in the studio. But but what's been going on since we've seen you on the TV shows now? You're doing you're doing those, but what's 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 the tour about then? Why, why go back on tour? Why come to the UK? You're, you're doing <laughs> no, fine. I was meant to be there on the 20, uh, 2020, then 2021. And uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's my longest awaited, uh, you know, sort of weekend uh, in the UK. And uh, if we're going to start with a show in Zurich, which is going to be like the first time uh, any Indian performer is going to be performing there, we're trying to start a whole new uh, segment or sector, so to say. And then there's, of course, the Father's Day weekend in the, in the UK. So, so yeah, that's going to happen in London, Leicester. And it's long awaited. I've been so excited to put up the show. And the show's called Love in Concert. 
So it's not a regular, like just, you know, I come and just, you know, sort of dish out my uh, top songs. It's, it's a conceptual show. It's about, uh, it's about songs that reflect love and, you know, love in its various different um, avatars, so to say, not necessarily just, I mean, of course, we start with all the romantic and all the, you know, that's the sweet stuff. But then there's also, you know, relationships. So, you know, if you've come with your mother, you've come with your father, you've come as siblings, you've come with friends. Uh, so that there's something for, you know, and of course, love is the glue that binds all these relationships. So there are songs that, you know, that sort of embody that emotion. And we try and spotlight on people who've, you know, who are there to celebrate that. If, so if you've come with, you know, if you're, if you're a family, you've got parents, you've got siblings. So, you know, we we do a family song, put you up on spotlight and a lot of little things like that. So it's more interactive and rather than just, you know, straight off show. Is there like a smooching section in the audience where you can just <laughs> get it on? You can just, there's, no there's shame, a, just like a curtain, maybe a curtain to separate them off and they can see the concert, okay. but they can do what they want to do to your songs. Wow. I wish I could, I could, I could. There's a serenading. There's one song that I, that I'd call upon a guest and, you know, serenade to her. But I maybe maybe a no ha, no 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 bar you know no holds bar celebration you know and maybe <laughs> I could about, use that. Don't talk about holds. <laughs> no in. holds. No holds bar. I was just about kissing. But okay, maybe maybe no holds <laughs> hold bar as well. I love you. I you love, never know I, what can lead to what, so you know I don't want to take it uh, uh, too literally, but uh, just don't want to take any chances. Also, <laughs> there could be the concert, and then there could be an after party concert, like like kind of like for those that want to stay on. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's put it like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let, let's, no, yeah. I'm going to have a that. But this is great. But <laughs> what is it? What is it for the UK for you? What is it? How does the UK make you feel when you're here? Because, you know, we have a we have a romance and a connection being British Asians to the music. Why are you coming to London or to the UK? I mean, honestly, the, the added benefit is to be in London in the summer. And, you know, doesn't matter summer, winter, whenever I'm there, it's absolutely one of the most, I mean, there's no rocket science saying it's one of the best cities in the world, one of the best places to be. And there's so much going on in London at the moment. In fact, a lot of my friends are actually visiting while we're there too. So, you know, and I keep telling them, guys, buy the tickets. I, you know, I can't just give you passes. And they're like, no, 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 you're a friend. You have to give us the passes. No, 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 you buy a ticket. So I'm still fighting that out. I don't know that they're going to land up. You know how friends are, you yeah. know. They don't they're want to gonna, spend on you at all. Yeah. Gonna, What's the point gonna, of being your friend if you can't get me a free pass? So <laughs> that's that's there. My family is going to be there with me. So we're going to extend our vacation while, you know, after the shows. And um, sadly, it won't be too long because I have to head off to, I have to, head off to the US uh, the next weekend. But it's still good enough. We have about four days. Uh, so it should be fun. And uh, why uh, come and perform in London is because, you know, you get such, such a, uh, wonderful audiences whenever i perform there i mean you know from 2016 17 18 we did like a hat trick of shows it's all been absolutely fabulous the audiences you know they're not like that over the top screaming shouting but you can feel the warmth and you can feel the connection and you know so it's always wonderful to perform in, so, in the UK. so so you're going to be screwed when you go to zurich there's like three brown people i mean how many asians how many desis <laughs> are there in zurich <laughs> You're gonna have to, you have to translate. You, know, yeah. you prepare me for the worst. Now I'm ready for anything. <laughs> I'm like, who's Hello, Zure. <laughs> oh God, my voice comes echoing back at me. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, okay. No, uh, I don't I know. Mean, I don't even I don't, know much I, Swiss, I, 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 Swiss yeah. German. I don't even know what to spell them. Danke, danke. <laughs> exactly. You gotta translate something. You gotta re rework your numbers. No, but I love it, and I like, I like. You know, I think you are Mr. Smooth. You are, yeah. I, you know. Everything about you, your, your smile is smooth, the way you chat is smooth. You're a nice guy. You're always the way you are right now. Um, so so why do like a love thing? Because some people always like, artists sometimes want to try something different. I want to show my edgy side or my hip hop side. <laughs> you're going love. You, you're saying love is my thing. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think because, uh, you know, first of all, it's quite a, it's a wide subject and most songs, I think 90% of songs are love songs. And most of the songs I have sung are love songs. But, you know, I thought of just, just you know, just just going back to back the song, then this song, oh, you know, I like to sing this song. And so, you know, to put a theme to it. So so what I'm, I'm doing is that with every song, that it, it fits into a certain scheme. It fits into a certain sort of uh, theme. So like if I, just for example, I talk about the four stages of love and I throw in one song in each stage. And created like that and you know so there's a little story that connects the songs 
and i've got a wonderful co singer uh, pratibha you know she's absolutely fabulous she was there in the uk you know she did this uh, musical theater called uh, uh, umrah ho jaan and yeah. where you know she did all those those beautiful songs so you know the and if you've seen the film right the rekha film umrah ho jaan yes of course yes Del it's classic and all that so she yeah, sang yeah. all that live and performed and danced so you know she's got her own little fan following not little quite a bit of a fan following going on in the uk so she's 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 with me on this tour and you know we've got some fantastic live musicians in terms of uh, you know not just the regular you know the ones that add that little indianness to the whole thing like a solo violinist uh, a flautist uh, you know uh, of course uh, so and even the music is is kind of not purely the way you'd hear it on a cd we've kind of you know uh, swung it around a little bit we if you're doing an old classic we you know do it in a different style rather than do it exactly the way it is so there's a lot of hard work i just i'm just back from the rehearsals um maybe my throat is giving it away <laughs> no, a little so scratchy you, you, but no, yeah you, you sound good still and um on that note you know we listen to shan songs shan songs are romantic right we know your voice for sure. being that smooth tone who's who's shan's go to romantic guy or gal who who's who's the ultimate smoothie of the indian music scene I'm a bit of a you know um, uh, uh, classics really get me so you know so my box stops at uh, at you know the four greats like Lata ji Asha ji Kishore Kumar Mohammad Rafi uh, so but among uh, among the new voices they all you know they, I think it's more about the melody it's more about the song and yeah. you know you get a great song you get some great lyric you you know you get to sing your heart out and you know everyone can put up a good good song so so it's more about the songs for me really actually if you don't mind and actually you, as you just triggered that lofa mohammed rafi's classic song from the yeah. film lofa lofa hits 50 years next year it came out in 73 ah. there's 50 years next year what song was it from lofa ah was it that aaj mausam bada beimaan hai right how does that go <laughs> let me see let me see aaj mausam bada बेईमान है बड़ा बेईमान है आज मौसम आने वाला कोई तूफान है कोई तूफान है आज मौसम I'm talking about 50 you know what that's <laughs> that's magic and by the way we should put out to everybody right now you're at a friend's house for dinner That is true. That is true. No wait. I just walked into the house. I said, "Can I get good uh, Wi-Fi? So and can wait. I get a room that I can use?" And they're like, "Uh, okay. This dude really knows how to, you know, make friends." And and I'm like, "And can I get silence for about no, half an hour that, because I'm <laughs> So it was I but, luckily I you know it's not the first way, time I've been here before so so and the funny thing is they tell me, okay. "Oh yeah, this is just the last time you came you did the same thing." <laughs> Oh, I think they that, think I just come here for good Wi-Fi. Yeah, <laughs> that, that doesn't sound dodgy at all. Can I get the Wi-Fi <laughs> and a room on my own, please? And do not disturb <laughs> me for half an hour. Hmm. This, and keep it quiet. What is this guy up to? Okay. <laughs> um, no. Hey, listen. Um, thank you for that. That was that was absolutely lovely. No, and um, yeah. My dog mode fifty. Horrendous. It, 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 it was beautiful. Would you believe this? I'm turning fifty in like in in three months now. So yeah, yeah. So this is this is the big fifty for me too. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, so okay, how are you going to market? What? How do how do how do you celebrate your fiftieth? Uh, yeah, no, no. This this year, I, I I lost I lost my mom early. This this it's going to be literally six months. So yeah, there will be you know no celebration, and also mm-hmm. lost some really close people. So yeah, so so it'll be low key. It will be easy. But I have some personal goals that you know I'm working towards. By the time I get to fifty, so uh, that's about that. But no celebrations this time. Real talk, then, because you're always smiling, you're always happy, and that's great. And I know that's you and you, the Sean, the performer. How how are you after your mum's loss, after losing close friends? That's hard when they kind of come all at the same time like that. Yeah, like, what the hell's yeah, going on? Yeah. You know, you kind of look up and you question things, don't you? True, true, true. No, that is true. See, I lost my mom on the nineteenth of uh, January. and uh, so you know and yeah a lot of relatives everything started going really bleak since but but you know for some reason i you know i started doing a lot of reading doing a lot of affirmations doing a lot of uh, 
you know, reading on mindfulness, reading on, on, you know, the power of the subconscious and things like that. And just sometimes you need that added boost, you know, to just keep yourself afloat. And uh, that kind of helped me understand a lot of things and, you know, helped me, you know, believe that no one really goes, you know, they're there, they're there as long as they're in your heart. You know, there are people who are in the world, but if, they, if you don't feel for them, then for you, they're gone. For you, they're dead. But if there are people who you, you know, carry with you as long as you are alive, they, they live with you, they live through you, they live for you. So, so I, I'd like to just pretend and think that, you know, I, I it weird, but I, I, can, I can still talk to my mother sometimes in the choir. And I feel she's responding. And, and similarly, then we lost, you know, we lost Lataji. I mean, you know, of course, I mean, she, she was 92, but some people you think they, they can never die because, you know, you, you feel all, as if they, they're always going to be there. Then a person who I really, not just professionally, but also personally, uh, was like family. They always said that you are family. That is uh, Bapida. So, you know, and I spent so much time with him. So losing him again was, was, was really terrible. What hit closest to home was, was this crazy thing of, of KK just deciding to, deciding to just take off like that. Just, just, you know, so that, that is the biggest shocker. I don't know if I can ever get over that. So, yeah. Um, so yeah. It, 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 you're happening. right. I wonder, I sometimes wonder whether it's the age that we're at now, because, okay, I'm 45, going to be 46 end of this year. And all of a sudden, mm -hmm. all the people, like you say, I grew up with or were influenced by, from, you know, from mm -hmm. TV land or to, you know, to real life, uncles, aunts and people close to you, they're going. And it's, it's not, it, it reminds you of your own mortality and what you want to do and what you want to achieve. And sure. unfortunately, sure. I sadly get a bit self-reflective about it. So what does, you know, when an artist goes like that, KK also at a young age, what does that do yeah. to you? Active, pretty much at the peak of his, you know, skill sets. So, yeah, I mean, see, there are so many ways to look at it you know that but but i think the the most honest way to to look at it is that you know it, it's not so much about what legacy you leave behind it's not so much about how they remember you when you're gone because you know that really doesn't matter it's about what you do while you're here and uh, to just tell yourself that time is short you know you don't want to just you know just work on self preservation just keep yourself uh, fit and alive without really you know contributing and that's not necessarily just singing. So, you know, luckily for me, I've always, uh, I've always believed in, in, in this thing and believed in the power of the moment. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, I, I think I figured this out sometime back itself. And I'm pretty prepared if, if, and, if, and, if and when and whatever. But um, I'm happy to enjoy, live the moment, make a lot of memories, you know, stay in touch, keep in touch with all my, you know, friends while, while I'm around, while they're around rather than regret and you know feel that oh shit i should have been i should have you know spent more time with them i should have hung out with them and it's so strange all of us you know uh, I, I spoke with sonu i spoke with babul i spoke with papon i spoke with uh, you know uh, ankit all 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 my all my friends yeah strangely mostly boys i, I don't know why that happens but yeah that's nice though that's nice that guys can yeah, open up so about we it caught yeah. up and we're like you know go, we, and of course mikta and me you know we, we did the show together so we're all we're all friends who are like really thick that way kk of course was a very private guy you know he would i was probably the only one he wasn't really really in touch with because you know you know we did a lot of shows together we, we we've hung out a lot together in the you know in the early part of our careers so, so that connect was made, but, but this is what, you know, we said, we keep planning. Yeah. Let's meet today. Let's meet tomorrow. But, you know, we're going to just, we made up our minds and we're going to like, you know, because as musicians, it's always great to, you know, jam up, hang out, um, bitch around. It, it, it's great fun. I met Javed, Javed Ali. This, so all of us had that same sentiment. I think KK, you know, this, this, this could happen to anyone, anyone, you know, and in fact, if I, if I was given like a, you know, like five or six names, KK would have probably been the last name I would ever think of because no vices, no, no, you know, no erratic lifestyle, no, um, you know, he was pretty much in control all the time. So, 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 so it can happen to the best of us. Yeah. And unfortunately, it, mm -hmm. it does just turn the mirror back on yourself, makes you go, right, seize the day, let's make the most of it, uh, and let's, in, you know, let's enjoy, enjoy as much true, as we can true, of true. life. And, and the one thing that, you know, some of us are scared about is, you know, being on stage and, you know, 
But I was like, that is the last thing I want to take away from me because that is the craziest, the best time I have when I'm performing, when I'm on stage. And on that stage, if I'm wondering and thinking that, oh my God, is my breathing getting too heavy? Or am I exerting too much? It's just going to, I'm, I'm already dead then. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. No. So on stage, I'm going to go, you know, all out like I always do. And, and that's why whenever we have this, like whoever I spoke with, I said, do not even think about it on stage. Just do what you're doing. Otherwise, there's no point in this life. Yeah, you're right. Thank you to the Mac. If you don't mind, though, just because you're touching upon people that have gone and it has it felt like, you know, actors and musicians and singers have gone maybe through old age or through, you know, some health matters. Mm -hmm. But the Sidhu Musiwala situation yeah. has really hit the UK. It, you know, people, yeah. well, people all around the world. I've seen videos um, from, you know, from Pakistan to India to Canada sure. to America, sure. South Africa, Australia, people mourning his death. Now, has that affected you? Is that across your radar? No. I mean, Gulshan Kumar was a situation like that, an extortion killing, but no singer or entertainer has ever been, you know, just been shot point blank like that over, you know, I'm told it's an extortion uh, uh, thing, but there are, there were, you know, there's a political angle because he was, uh, so I don't, I don't, I really don't know what the truth is and why this has happened, but mm -hmm. obviously it's, it's a, it's a, heinous, it's a terrible, terrible thing to do just to, prove that uh, you know i i've got cloud i'm gonna be i'm scary i'm, I'm just gonna shoot a young you know really really edgy talent who's who, who's really hit the scene so big and you know like i didn't know so much about it, but like my 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 sons they were following all his stuff and you know they were they were so connected and you know like someone like a drake giving a shout out someone like a you know burner boy crying about him so clear clearly clearly he was he was making the right noises and you know touching hearts of the youngsters and and creating some real magic through his music it's all in Punjabi so obviously you know I, I couldn't understand what the music is but it was it was uh, loaded stuff and and you know it was pretty much uh, you know working in the right direction that was going I mean we had so many youngsters so many I mean I just noticed sadly a lot of us actually re he had just once I was on a on a on a live chat on an insta chat with uh, with a uh, ex miss India and I was very kind of you know Enjoy my little moment, little uh, you know, light flirtations, and suddenly Sidhu Musibala was on that uh, Insta uh, chat, and he just put up a hi or hello, and and suddenly no one was interested in what I'm talking to, uh, what I'm talking with. Uh, I think her name was Ruhi, and he was a friend of us, and uh, that's it. There was a whole side chat happening, and Sidhu Musibala is here. So, so that's when I looked him up and figured out who he is. Yeah, but. But uh, the long short of it is that I think now a lot of them are feeling threatened, scared for their lives, especially in Punjab. And, uh, you know, it's just created a, a, a crazy turmoil in the minds of, you know, young musicians that, you know, is it worth all this? If you're just going to be just shot down or you're going to be, you know, that threat is going to stay continuously on your mind. How are you going to make music? How are you going to entertain? No. So it's a very scary, scary thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I just, uh, I'll just get. Uh, Go on, who's coming in? No. Who's there? Uh, Shub, my my son, all of seventeen. Hey, I, what's up? I, I, how's it I, going? I, I really enjoy your content and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. nice. Like you're watching it all. Full family are watching a series of your Desio case on the live big, yeah. on the big TV. We all enjoying it. So. Well, we'll have to do one with you then. We'll have to do. We'll have to get you. Uh, get get you involved. Yeah, I, I, I hope be, so soon, soon. He's he's probably going to be taking the stage in in London and, and Leicester. He sings and he's pretty good. So uh, you know, what, what's his style? What's his style like? What's your style? I mean, right now I think I'm keeping my options open. Uh, I don't want to. But he's all out commercial. Sorry. I think he's going to make like yeah. some really fun music. He, Positive, happy dance, I think. Dance yeah, yeah, I think it's something more upbeat, you know. I think uh, right now there's a lot of the sad heartbreak going around. So, yeah, hopefully you're yeah. Your, da your dad's done that. Your dad's done the heartbreak yeah. stuff. <laughs> Move on. Look at your dad. He Move sold on. you out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You know, I noticed you sold him out, Sean. You went, oh, he's a sellout. He's going all out commercial. All out commercial. <laughs> Commercial's where it's at, okay? Don't listen to dad in his kind of... No, 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 no. He's... Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah that, that is the way forward. Like, let's, <laughs> let's be honest. I mean, yeah. Um, and what about outside that of... That could um, be a great story for him. Oh, my my father never supported me. You know, he tried to sell me out. And, but yeah. there, I still he, did it. So, you know, these things work me. these days. He dissed me on, in front of Tommy Sandu. He dissed and then me in front of Tommy. I had to prove him wrong. This is a comeback <laughs> story. This is revenge. <laughs> and now that you said it, we have to go through it. Yeah, 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 I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. Now, awesome. Nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting you. Yeah, actually, good meeting you.
Sean, thank you. Thank you. And, and to both of you, welcome. Have a great time in the UK. Have a great time when you're over here. Great talking to you as always. Come over and smash it and I'll see you on stage. I'll see all the family uh, and all you guys. Yeah, on sure. stage. I can't, I can't really see you in person, Dummy.